Infinite, this is crazy, man. For as long as you've been in the business, and as long as I've been, been in the business, the fact that I've interviewed all the icons, that we haven't done something in person, as we were just saying, is crazy on I know, I know. It's real crazy because I know you're an icon in the business in Toronto, too, in Canada at, at that. And we never cross paths, you know what I mean? So, I mean, it's an honor to be here with you. No, no, no. It's an honor for me because uh, people like you who have taken hip-hop to a different level, in fact, it breaking down the breaking down the walls and breaking down stereotypes, too, and being able to tell our story. How does it feel, though? Not just telling our stories, but like I said, icon in this business and opening those doors for the young cats who are coming in there. Me getting put in that position is a pleasure because, I mean, there's so many artists coming out and there's some that's been out for a long time, but people overstep them because of either their style, the style of music, the type of person that they are. You could feel that genuine artist when you hear one, you know what I'm saying? I try to relate to my, my listeners and my supporters. So, I mean... Like I said, I don't even like using the word try. You know, we don't use that word try. That's not in our vocabulary. But um, I do want to relate to my listeners, you know. So, like, that's my form of writing, too. Like how Bob Marley, his music lasts over decades, you know. So we try to sit there again, try. We try to get that out of our vocabulary. We want to continue to do music that will last a very long time, you know, not just a trend. But how do you do that, though, when... 10, 15 years ago, you weren't the same person. Music wasn't the same thing. The audience wasn't the same. So, and we're going to talk about this new single that you have now. How do you keep relating still when so much changes in the world? You know what? You just go along with what's going on right now. So you can't lose when you go along with reality. I'm a reality rapper. I'm not a gangster rapper. I'm a reality rapper. So when you go along with what's happening right now, you can't lose because it's not a trend like what I was saying. So you stick to what's going on, what's happening right now. I got I to gotta ask you, though, because we were just talking about this before we, we turn on the camera, though. You just did a show, just I think it was last week or two weeks ago, with Mishy and the rest of them. What was that like bringing back that old school folks, again, all brown, uh, groundbreakers? Well, Mishy, she, she's my sister. So, I mean, it was so refreshing to see Mishy perform. You know, after so long, I never got to see her perform. And coming together with um, my, my brother Dolo from Ghetto Concept, I mean, it was like a great vibe, a great energy. And I look forward to doing more shows, too, with them, you know what I'm saying? So it was a good vibe. It was a good energy. I want to go back again with uh, Ghetto Concept, when it all began for you. What was it like back then? And being in the game and knowing that you had to compete with what was going on in the States, what was that like for you then? Honestly, I remember north of the border, from Toronto, it was it was kind of surprising when I went to do a show in Buffalo and people in Buffalo were reciting my lyrics. Like it felt actually good, you know, going to a um, a club that Biggie Smalls performed at that they bottled Biggie at that club. So when I went up there, they showed me a lot of love and just the whole energy with the whole new sound that they were getting from north of the border. It just it was it was it was it was very challenging. I mean, we we set the foundation, and now artists like Drake and all these other artists that are coming out, they kicking the door open. You know what I'm saying? All these other artists, they kicking the door open. So I mean, I'm very proud to see what it's become right now from back then. But it was harder though back then to try to get a record deal with any of the bigger companies because they were looking at artists like yourself, Cardi, the rest of them as a certain entity that they couldn't understand, but they did know something's going on because people are jumping on it. Yeah, it was a wave. And right now the wave is the talent that you see coming out is different. It's not the same as everybody else you see in the music industry. It's our own sound. And a lot of people are starting to copy our sound. So that's how you know we're winning, you know what I mean? And like I said, all these other talented artists, man, it's so good to be a part of that circle coming from the north at this time in the music industry. The spotlight, the microscope is on Toronto right now and even Canada. So, you know. What did you guys have to do to get those deals, to finally break through that mold? What were some of the things that you had to Because you had to be creative. Because yeah, yeah. like I said, it was almost like, and again, I don't want to put down the record companies. 
it was almost like they didn't want to look at you guys because they didn't understand what was going on. But eventually they had to because the power is too strong. Right. When we started winning Juno Awards and um, our video started coming on BET, they started paying more attention because when you when they when they're not sure where you are from, when you rap and they're not sure where you're from, but you sound you still sound different. They they want to pay more attention to it. And back then you had to have writing skills, lyrical content to to be even recognized. Everybody's gonna not even look at you. Your presence, you know what I'm saying? The way you dress, the way you your appearance, kids look up to you. You know what I'm saying? And the way you speak, you can't come in an interview talking about um um um. Like you gotta know how to talk and be very intelligent for people to respect you. You know what I'm saying? And with that. The music that we're putting out, we got to put life into our music. We can't be speaking all this death. We're going to shoot this and shoot him and shoot. Nah, that's not what we're trying to do right now. We're trying to save this generation because it's a totally different generation. How do you think then you've grown as not just an artist, lyricist, um, and also um, somebody that people look up to? How do you think that you've been able to evolve to where you are today? Well, my thing is inspire change and affect my listeners that's my thing my goal is to if i could save one life mm -hmm. I, I accomplish my goal you know what i mean but um as an artist i feel that i've grown to be the man that i am for what i've been through like everybody goes through their trials and tribulations and that's what made me who i am today and if you keep doing and keep making mis the same mistakes that you make when you were younger and keep going in circles you're not growing. You're not going to the next level. And I'm sure everybody wants to get to that next level. You know? Who do you like now? Torontonians. Hip-hop scene. Who do you like now that you see in here? You know what? Regardless of what everybody says about, um, like, Drake and all that, I, I like the way Drake is representing. I like the way he's representing. You know what I'm saying? You got a lot of other artists. You know, you got Tory Lanez. You got... Uh, it's just too much to really name off the top, but there's a lot. It's so unfair to you. Yeah, it's like I see little little guys coming up that's doing their thing, like Pressa, you know. But there's a lot of guys that are coming up that I'm I'm proud to hear the sound and how they're sounding, you know. But you're not done yet because as we were just saying you got a new single out right now. I got a new single out named Ryder, and look out for the video. You know what I'm saying? Even on my Instagram, um, the video's in the link, in, in my bio. And um, or just go on YouTube and look it up. Or look out for it on Much Music, etc. What's the track about? The track is about just being a go-getter, rider, being down for somebody, whichever definition, whichever way you want to put it. You know, just being a rider. Yeah, I could be a rider for my brother. You know what I mean? I could be just a loyal person, but I'm a rider. At the end of the day, I'm not gonna lay down just just like that. I'm not gonna give up. Is there a chance that there could be an EP or an album following this sometime in 2018? Because as we speak, it's 2017 now. Most definitely. Um, I'm going to put out an album. I probably might drop an EP right before, like, you know what I'm saying? But um, look out for an album. You know, I'm not going to give a date yet, but definitely an album will follow. Are we still looking as a solo artist, or is Ghetto Concept going to somehow sneak their way back? See, I don't even want to... Um, it's still a solo artist right now. But I don't want to open up nothing that is not solidified yet. What, what, what was that spot? Whoa, whoa. Is there conversation going on here? Is there some negotiating going on here? Uh, you know what? Shout out to Ghetto Concept. <laughs> Dolo and Quadro, you already know what it is, man. You know what I'm saying? Okay, we'll, we'll leave it to that. As we wrap this up, though, what advice can you give the young cats who have followed your career for so many years? Uh, what advice can you give them now? Because, like I said, it's a whole different world. When we, we started in this, yeah. there was no thing in social media, YouTube, or any of that stuff. Yeah, yeah. Just don't, don't pay attention to what other people want. You know, just don't do it for yourself. Also, do it for, just do it for what you know people. The, I got to put it the right way. I got to, like, word it the right way so they understand what I'm trying to say. Just be yourself is what I'm trying to say. Be yourself. Don't try to do things and try to be a G or try to be a gangster on a track because once you start doing that, you're gonna start losing. You're gonna start losing followers. Nobody wants to see that anymore. And if, especially if it's not you, 
stay yourself don't be afraid to be yourself no one's gonna think you're a nerd or nothing just be yourself and that's where you get the most respect even if you are a nerd to be as long as you be yourself people are gonna look at you like you're the biggest g because you're being yourself don't follow nothing social media where do we go to follow you? yeah follow me on instagram if you ain't doing it yet at infinite underscore ld and um inst uh twitter is infinite underscore ldc my friend, thank you so much for the interview, but more importantly, thank you for knocking down walls because you guys did it back then and you're still doing it. I appreciate that, bro, bro.